On April 10, 2018, the CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, attended his congressional hearings and has faced some tough questions about users' privacy. Because there are too many reports on the violation of privacy or personal data by Facebook users every year, making the principle of online privacy is a complete and utter fraud. Okay, now you may think, what's this had to do with you? And maybe it will not affect your life or your digital life at all. But after watching this video, I'm sure you will be more aware of your surrounding and might be throwing your phone away as well. But before we start, let me introduce myself. My name is Daniel and welcome to my first blog entitled Privacy Breaching. Okay, first of all, what is privacy breaching? Okay, privacy breaching is intentional or unintentional release of secure information to an untrusted environment. Okay, why it's an issue again? It's an issue because it is dangerous. I mean, when your privacy is breached, your personal information can be misused by hackers, can be exposed to the public, and can lead to cyberbullying and even death threats. One strong example is the Amanda Todd case. Back in 2012, Amanda was a grad 7 student from Canada who got interested to meet new people on the internet. One day, a stranger convinced her to do inappropriate things on her webcam. One year later, she was threatened to expose her not safe for work photos to the public if she don't want to do what the stranger wants. And by doing the privacy breaching, the stranger got to know her address, her family members and her friends. And he threatened to expose her picture to them. Later, she got depressed and on September 7, 2012, she posted a disturbing 9-minute YouTube video about her story and a month later, she was found hanging at her home. Rest in peace, Amanda. Now you might be asking, how is this happening? And because this is such a dangerous thing, how can we stop it? Okay, for instance, from the family photos on your Instagram, the address on your Facebook profile, your phone numbers on all social medias, the fingerprint that locks your phone, and the facial recognition on the new devices right now. This is all the information, your personal information that can be stolen by the great hackers out there and can use your information, for example, your credit card infos for their own good. Okay, I might be seem exaggerating things, but the truth is, this is what happening around us without you knowing. And I'm here to give you guys the awareness so you guys can be prepared and be more aware of who you are meeting with and who are you socializing with. After all the things I revealed to you guys, one question remains. How are we going to at least avoid this thing from happening to us? Because there's no way we can stop this bad guy from stealing people's identity because they're basically anonymous. Well, if you ask me, my suggestions will be Share the least information about you on the internet I mean, you can still post your pictures on your Instagram uh, Family pictures are not recommended But sharing your address and your phone number on your profile Uh-uh, big no-no You must be aware of who are you meeting with. These guys might seem friendly. I'm not asking you to be paranoid, but be careful when sharing or giving out your personal information to other people. The conclusion is we have to be extra careful when using the internet because these people can easily trick us to expose our information whether it is intentional or unintentional. So guys, you have come to the end of my vlog. I hope you guys gain many information from my video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and comment down below.
Stay tuned for more informative vlogs from me. See ya!